very famous among the invested in that is related to NBFC, that geo financial services. You know that it is one of the darling of market. And now the day it is listed geo financial, it has been no every investor want to get into this stock, and they are thinking the way the Reliance industry has performed over the years. Similarly, geo financial services will perform again. They are saying that yes. It will be a biggest challenger to Bajaj Finance, one of the, you can say, the big elephant of NBFC companies. No, now it's a biggest threat for the Bajaj Finance. Now, today we are going to talk about whether geo financial services is really a big threat of to NBFC or oh, sorry of the Bajaj Finance or not. And also we are going to talk about what is the future process of this company. And this question has been asked by geo financial services of, from Mr. Rahul Mahajan and also Sangeeta Jeshwani. So yes, let us talk about geo financial services in detail. So first let us understand how the geo financials perform, just looking at the chart. So talking about geo financial services, if you see the day it is listed, no, it is no, almost in August it is listed. Now over the years, the, over the months now it has gone up. Now from last one month, the last one month now, there is a very, very good rally around 35 to 40 percent no jump you can see in uh, geo financial services and that is why the bus started okay now the geo financial started is really now it is not going to stop now let us understand about geo financial in detail of course the history is less we don't have that type of financials but yes let us talk about that and also about the products and let us understand the structure of geo financials so talking about the structure and everything so uh, let us talk about the geo financial structure so if you see the geo financial structure uh, the main uh, is geo financial service limited it's a holding company again it's a publicly listed company again uh, you can see the it is having a hundred percent holding on uh, gfl this is geo finance limited hundred percent holding it's a nbfc regulated by rbi again uh, a holding of geo insurance broking gibl what is GIBL? GIBL is nothing but the insurance broking limited. So basically, they are going to provide the insurance services as per the IRDA. They are having an 76.98% uh, in JPB. So what is JPB? Geo Payment Bank. Okay, Geo Payment. The way it is PTM, similarly, it is a payment bank, Geo Payment Bank. In that 23% holding is of SPI. It is also holding of JPSL. JPSL is nothing but Geo Payment Solutions Limited. It's a payment aggregated regulator by RBI 100% holding. Again, 100% only of IIHL. So uh, Reliance Industrial Investment and Holding Company, it's 100% holding. Again, that is holding again uh, PT, then uh, JIMSL and RS, RSHL. Okay, so these are the some of the like Reliance Strategic Holding Limited is nothing but RSHL. So this is how it is holding about Reliance Industry Investment Holding. Again, 50% holding is in AMC, 50% holding is of Bay, uh, BlackRock. So they've collaborated with BlackRock for the AMC, proposed as a asset management company regulated by SEBI. Again, the last one is Geo Infrastructure Management service limited that is leasing business so that is where also it is having a hundred percent only so this is how the structure of geo financial services so yes geo financial service limited is a holding company at the end of the day now let us understand how uh, will be the products and how, what focus is going to be there so first of all they are increasing focus on the secure products and they will introduce a dash what is this De device as a service of so finance and operating leases air air fiber phone and laptop they are providing it is a low, low you can say risky business this is one of a consumer device to create a new market this is a new business they're entering again lower risk due to the asset ownership again sharper targeting for cross sell based on customer insight so this is one of the new product they've launched also supply chain financing introducing of supply chain financing solution to address the working capital needs of supply so there also they are focusing a lot other products like ls and home loan in pipeline of course see all these products are in pipeline slowly and gradually it is coming into operation capacity build on for unsecured and consumer durable products 
also their focus is also there on the insurance broking partnership with almost 27 insurance companies across general and life so they will act as a broker as a mediator launch enabled and extend warranty in such a insurance so this is what they, they are focusing because you know insurance is quite under penetrated again payment bank soft launch of debitor they already launched again re-platform to launch digital saving bank account so that is where they are also focusing on digital saving bank account payment solution insurance implementation of dynamic qr system across ecosystem app for merchant launch and pilot launch of geo box so these are some of the payment uh, solution there again they are going to launch a geo bharat phones with upi now all these things whatever you can see that you no know, these are the main uh, focus which is geo uh, is going to have in coming years and also in coming months again all these products are not available now they are focusing slowly and gradually all the products are unveiling okay now let us understand about the outlook so how the outlook looks over the geo finance now we have just seen the products and all that but the main thing is as an investor i have to see an outlook so talking about the outlook then we'll talk about the financials also now see if you see the quarter three financial 24 result it was quite a disappointing performance on the back of lower profitable due to lower income and higher business related actions so it's little bit there was a profitability miss at a quarter three financial 24 again geo finance has been working on building diverse product portfolio across financial size so i have just shown you some of the glimpse of it how they are focusing on the, to have a diversified portfolio on the technology from the company's advantage of being a new entrant and opportunity for company company with ai and analytical driven approach so basically they are focusing on artificial intelligence and, and again as they've entered you know they don't have that type of baggage okay like when the uh, say B, okay sorry rbi is told you no know, that the unsecured loan there will be higher provision geo financial was not doing that type of uh, unsecured loan that's why they will be safer and they just enter so they are adapting with the technology and also they are feature uh, you know focusing on the main areas also uh if you see uh geo financial uh again the company has a fight a conversion to cic with the regulator and the amc license process underway as a plan by the company so basically amc which they collaborated with blackrock no still it is not in operation they are going to do it okay again geo finance is a large opportunity in secure lending space and thus it decides accelerate is focus on secure lending and secure loan as i told you earlier there is a problem uh, rbi is given a provision that's why they are focusing less but yes they are also working on it's not their stock but yes uh, they are uh, trying to be safe on that part company will take a calibrated approach towards unsecured products which will be in line in the industry so as based on the rbi policy they are going to do it again geo finance is well positioned to gain higher traction across all business segments given the strong parent and, and wide customer and parent company so lot many segments they are going to focus together of course it's not a small company it's quite a big company you know it's, if you see the market cap is around 1.9 lakh crore so that is not a small company at all so again capital adequacy expected to remain strong for nbfc which will support uh, growth aspiration of the company and act as a provision buffer for any uh, contingency so capital adequacy is quite good for geo financial it remains strong for the nbfc again volatility of earnings will be there in next six months until the geo finance sees all approach in place and post the ramp up on the business as a fast surface so as i told you many of the products are still not in place still the approval is going to come and actually how the ramp up is going to and how it is able to spread across the various areas that is what need to be seen also the long-term trend of the company of holding comfortable of capital as i told you capital adequacy is good experience leadership and again brand equity you know reliance company is there reliance name is there so of course it will always get a premium and proximity to customer through its parent company remain untouched so so many like uh, you can say you no know, within the group there are so many other segments you know, where they can touch directly you know the geo mart and all that okay even uh geo telecom business and all that you know, they can directly touch base and that is when you know, the strength will come for that company because they already have a wider base and also the data they have 
connect through geo uh, and again with geo mart no they were big massive data on that they can work on it no you know data analytics and on that data they can provide loans secure loan and secure loans and lot many credit facility they can provide so all these look outlook looks much much better from here also now let us talk about the financials now talking about the financial we don't have that much of data but yes if you talk about last three four years okay now uh, let us focus on financial 23 and this year it is nine year months financial 21 22 does not make sense currently but if you see the eps of this year is around two okay and uh, financial year 23 it was around 60.5 now the main thing is as you know that for any company nbsa company the price to book value is the most important thing now if you see financial 20 it was around 179.6 and for nine months also 182.5 now when we compare this because valuation plays a big role and we have to value a company if we want to invest in that company so let us compare with the uh basically you can say that uh, Bajat Finance PS comparison. So talking about PS comparison, you can see here uh, at the current CMP value, okay, based on the current price, if you talk about it is, uh, if you talk about 182 as a book value, then it is 1.69. Now, Bajaj Finance is trading at 6.71. So then you will say, Tapan, now it is trading at 1.69. Bajaj Finance is 6.71. That means there's a massive upside at Geo Finance. But understand one thing that no Bajaj Finance already proved the track record. Okay, they have been performing over the years. Still, Geo Financial need to be performed. Okay, so whether they are able to perform the V, uh, basically, if you see Bajaj Finance, that is what need to be seen. Again, you can see the market cap is almost half of the Bajaj Finance. So here from here also if you talk about that okay then how much valuation to be given now if you talk about let us take a two times book value two times book value also then if it is a book value of 182 like let us not give 6.7 times but two times then also it is like no 364 64 rupees and now again that Geo Financial is a holding company. Now, holding company will always attract a discount. So, you may get around 20 to 25 percent discount. You have to give because holding company, there will always be a discount on that one. Then it will come to around 290 odd rupees. And now it is trading at around how much? Around 300 rupees. So, what I'm saying is that if you talk about a valuation point of you know, the stock is already fairly valued. Okay, that uptick has gone away because you can say no that uh the you because the because of the holding discount and also no that 20 percent discount you have to take it out yes in future again then it's a completely different story because all this small small bucket also can get differently listed but i don't know whether that is going to happen or not that is not in cards also but if you talk about two times book value at 182 and if you give, give a holding company discount, I think this stock is already very valued. Now, talking whether we should invest in this stock for the future. Now, this is where the question will come into picture, okay, whether we should invest or not. Now, here you have to be a uh, little bit, uh, you can say that uh, careful or you want to think about it, the long term angle. Then yes, next five, 10 years, if you want to invest, then I think you should think about it and provided the geo financial is able to perform and all this, whatever we are talking about, no, the new products and all that launches are going in a better way. Then of course you can think of it. Otherwise, no, you have to go to check each and every quarter, how the ramp and accordingly take a decision. So this is what my take will be that at current position, geo financial is fairly valued, but let us understand quarter to quarter, how the stock is performing and accordingly you can take a decision. So hope you like this video guys. If you like this video, do share it to everyone and also guys uh, do put it in the comment box if any other stock you want to review and do like it and share it and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. So I'll see you soon next time with the next another video. See you then. Bye bye.